All right, folks, so we have our homemade Geiger counter hooked up now to our meter. We've got our ion line and our electron line now hooking down into this meter here. That's actually the meter I'm going to use, not the one that I originally showed you in the video, which is this one. It started freaking out because I got it smacked by electrostatic charge, so it always goes way up like that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use this one. And you'll notice there's a little tiny bit of charge still hitting off of this as the electrostatic charge inside of the Wimhurst discs here. This Wimhurst electrostatic generator that I'm using, the actual uh, plexiglass for the disc, the dielectric, will actually hold charge for quite a while and slowly leak that charge off. And that's why you're seeing little events still sitting there. That means there's actually a small amount of radiation still being produced uh, out of that cathode ray as that slowly bleeds down. And as an event happens, you'll notice there will actually be a little tiny spike there. So what we're going to do here real quick is we're going to set up the camera. Give me a second here, probably a little shaky. Alright, so we've got the voltmeter now hooked up. And we've got it set at AC voltage down there. Let me go over to the Wimhurst and give this a turn. Let's see if we can witness uh, events through electrostatic voltage presence on the meter. So here we go. Alright, so let's give this thing a turn. Alright, well, as that thing winds down, that should have been enough to demonstrate any kind of interactions we were having. Oh yeah, look at those voltage spikes created as we produce x-rays, and those x-rays are being converted back into electricity in our homemade uh, Geiger counter tube. There you go. Now as the machine slowly winds down here, like I said, there's going to be an electrostatic charge constantly leaking out of that dielectric slowly. Once that fully bleeds down, the voltage will go much lower. It actually tells me there's still rads right now being produced from this. Uh, those discs are so large. Four foot in diameter disc holds a lot of electrostatic charge. Uh, so that's actually still producing radiation at nice little spikes there. That I'd throw this in there just so you could see exactly how our homemade Geiger counter tube works and our homemade cathode tube, our cathode ray tube, actually functions and actually does produce x-rays. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show.